thank you. I'm a science teacher. I use Excellent. stuff to uh, debunk the shit that you tell my students. Oh, why don't you debunk it for us then? I've got something better to do when you guys are not interested in the truth. You're interested in bullshit. That's a partial birth abortion, which is not even legal. And this? The 12-week-old baby? 12-week-old baby? That's not a baby. That is barely past a zygote. Okay. What's and a zygote? A zygote is a human baby. No. Wrong. Try again. A human baby. How many cells are made out of zygote? I believe four? Nope. So this is where the conversation actually gets really interesting and I didn't catch on to the whole thing until after the fact, unfortunately. But you see this woman who comes up and proudly tells us that she is a science teacher and that she's going to go back to school and she's going to teach her students all about the lies and she's going to debunk the lies that we're supposedly spreading to these students. And now, of course, as you see right at the beginning of the conversation, she's not actually willing to debunk the lies. She claims that we're the liars, but refuses to show us where we're lying, refuses to uh, show us what the truth is, which says a lot. But here you see she talks about, uh, she calls the image that Jeff is holding, and you can see the whole sign that he's holding right now. He calls, she calls this a zygote. Now, of course, she was upset previously because I made a mistake. Now, I confess to her in this conversation, and I'm happy to confess to anybody that I'm not an embryologist. I'm not a obstetrician or a gynecologist. I, I am not a scientist. I am a IT guy. I'm a Christian, and I'm simply talking about a worldview and preaching the gospel to students. But so I make a mistake, and I switch blastocytes, I guess, and zygote, and I mix, I, I mix the two up. However, she looks at a picture and she says, this is a zygote, and you're showing children pictures of a zygote. Well, a zygote is a single cell organism. And a zygote, by its own definition, does not have the things that you see demonstrated in this image, such as hands, feet, eyeballs, formed heads, things of that nature. They don't have those things because they're a single cell. So these are the people that we're actually seeing going into the schools, teaching the children who don't understand the scientific terms that their job, they actually get paid, they get tenured, they get the whole nine yards, they're paid to teach children the proper science, and in and of themselves, they can't even get simple terminology correctly, something that they use to prove that I am ignorant and a fool, and that I have no right to be standing outside talking to children, because I'm, well uninformed on a topic that I'm not attempting to teach children about. And this is why we've based the entire premise of Frontlines off of the idea that they have been lied to. So you're a science teacher, but you don't want to teach somebody something. So in other words, you just support murder, man. No, I teach them the truth. You don't even know what a zygote is. Well, then educate me. I just did. It's not my job. You are a grown man. Go and do your own research. Do your own homework. That is not my job. I have, and your research, your research is the research that turns around and teaches what these young children. A zygote is, I believe, the second stage of human development. How many cells are in a zygote? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. You don't know. No, I'm a scientist. I'm not a scientist. Sorry. I take this stuff and I teach my kids the lies that you show them. Except for you're the one who lies to them when you say it's okay for young women to become murderers. It's okay for young men to become murderers. I tell them if you tell them that it's okay to do this. Telling them is bullshit and lies. You guys have to lie to bring people to your side. All I do is give them the facts and say pick what side you want to be on. Is it okay to do this? If that's okay or not, that's up to you to decide. As a scientist, is that okay? Lie to get them to choose. Nor do I. Bullshit. You don't even know what a zygote is. And I don't teach them what a zygote is. So what? So what's this? This is a 12-week-old child. Child. Yep. What's the definition of child? Yeah. Thank you. I rest. Hey. I rest oh. my case. Sir. You rest your case because I'm silence in the face of your ignorance. Thank you. Thank you. So in just two minutes of conversation, 
this young self-proclaimed educator make herself clear and I I am truly grieved for students who are in her classes because I fear for any who might challenge the status quo or might ask a legitimate question or try to understand what she means because when she asked me to define child I mean in reality we have to look at what was the question she was asking because she didn't care what my answer was my answer was wrong I could have literally pulled out a Webster's Dictionary and I could have given her the definition of child, but it would have been wrong because it wouldn't have fit her definition because, as has been made obvious, her definition is a loved, wanted, planned child that is already born, breathing oxygen, and who knows, maybe she probably falls, it seems, under one of the categories uh, of these scientists who are claiming that a human being isn't a child until they're one or two years old. And, and so the Bible does teach us that we cannot become a fool like the fool. And anybody watching this can see the evidence that her profanity, her demeanor, her attitude is that of a fool. She hates not only God, but she hates truth. She hates challenges. She hates anything that doesn't fit inside of her status quo. And so this is why we created Project Frontlines. This is why the front of our book says, you've been lied to, and why our bookmarks say, you've been lied to. Because the children are being lied to. Our youth are being lied to. They're going into these schools where these educators are coming at them with these psycho-liberal biases. They're coming at them I mean, we've heard stories in the news, you hear the stories on, you know, social media, we've talked to students who it's like, no, I'm not allowed to ask questions of the teacher. You hear, quite, you know, you hear stories about students who they get suspended or even expelled from school because they told a teacher that they were wrong. I had a great teacher when I was in high school who at the very beginning of the year laid down the ground rules for the class and one of the things that he told us was that he wanted and he respected us enough to have us challenge him. He desired for us to challenge him if we believed that what he taught us was wrong, if we believed that he was incorrect or that there was a better way or a better idea, that he wanted us to bring those ideas to him. Unfortunately, those teachers have been lost in a, a school system that is based more on politics and, and the moving and shaking than it is on actually educating our students. And that is why we've created Frontlines, because we are truly and genuinely afraid for the coming generations who are being consistently and purposely lied to in order to support political and social agendas because the truth does not fit into the status quo.